Hey Harmonic Traders, Scott Carney here. Just want to go through the initial setup with the Harmonic Pattern Collection. This is the Harmonic Trading Platform for eSignal. So once you've signed up with eSignal, selected what product you want, what data feed, and you're all set up with that, you come over to Harmonic Pattern Collection. Now, this is available at one of a few sites. You can get it at harmonicpatterncollection.com or go over to Senior Analyst, senior-analyst.com and check out HPC. So down here, you want to make sure that you go and we send you the, the installer. If you haven't received the installer and make sure you have the right version, get the latest version right down here there and click on that link. That's a safe file. That's going to get you set up with the latest installer. Any updates, uh, we'll let you know about. But you want to check that out, and you want to just click that, open that. And this is going to uh, install the most recent version. So we want to accept that, keep going, and just go on through. Let that uh, overwrite any other existing folders and programs. And this is going to give you everything. Uh, and then if you want to go back and go to Senior Dash Analysts, it will take you back to the help guide. This is also available on HarmonicPatternCollection.com and Harmonic Trader. So check out all of the, uh, you have any questions and you want to check out all of the different indicators, what each of the labeling means, uh, by all means. Also, check out the new harmonic indicators this is something that we've added with this major upgrade this originally was just patterns and harmonic strength index for the last few years but now we've brought all of the tools uh, of the harmonic trader platform into the collection a really nice situation so let's take a look at a chart let's look at a new chart here uh, and how we can get set up once you've got that installer set up uh, simply open up a new chart, go here, click new chart, and then we're going to want to install that. You're going to insert the study, you know, right click on there, maybe I did that a little too fast, right click on your chart, insert study, and then click on there. Now we want to hit add on studies, and we'll scroll, that'll scroll this down into Harmonic Pattern Collection, and actually Harmonic Pattern Collection is the most popular, one of the most popular of the eSignal add-ons, if not the most popular, uh, some parts of ours. And a lot of people are really embracing it with the power of the eSignal platform and the stability of the eSignal platform and their quality data. This is really quite a package. So click into this harmonic pattern collection folder. You're going to have all of the harmonic patterns and we want to apply that. Now, if you click that, uh, that's going to uh, actually install. Look, there was a pattern that just popped up. Look at the pattern there. And then we can add each of the indicators amplified RSI. We'll describe what each of these proprietary indicators are more about. Uh, here's the harmonic strength index arrows and the harmonic strength index uh, indicator. Here's RSI BAM. Here's our harmonic volume spike indicator, a really fantastic volume, uh, really uh, indication of, of volume changes. And then pi phi bands, which is one of the best, I feel, volatility dynamic measures of all of the volatility type bands that are out there, harmonic bands really are have been a breakthrough and they are now available on the eSignal platform. So now that you've got that in there, the patterns are going to generate automatically. And also one of the fantastic features that we have, I'll, I'll, let me remove this, uh, is we now have a part of this is our scanner. And um, this allows us to do all kinds of uh, automated 
list and match list and be able to automatically know what are the last patterns that are formed. And we can do this for ABCDs, crabs, deep crabs, bats, butterflies. Now this will show us, let's look at the whole market analyzer. And this is available through the menu as well. Uh, I'll show how to access that. Uh, go in here. And you're going to just add a watch list here. Um, go there, select new watch list. Sorry about that. And that'll generate, and we'll put, this will generate the, the patterns. We'll add the patterns and everything into there um, and show you guys once you add symbols, it comes up with the patterns and everything. Now, how to read this, and the beauty of this is we can now come in here on any desired time frame, any market. Okay, to show me what's happening. Give me the parameters of the setup. Here we can look at our currencies, Aussie, Aussie CAD, and see what's happening. And in fact, we see the last pattern here. That's that's what this pattern shows. That shows the last pattern, and actually the number of bars shows you how many bars away since its completion point, since the terminal bar has completed. And then um, it can show us what is the pending or developing pattern here. So in this case, on Aussie dollar, there's a bat pattern. A 5-0 had already completed. There's the bat pattern. And a nice little reaction here. Let's take a look at that. I want to show also... How can we adjust the settings? So we want to look at this pattern here. And we want to go into edit chart. Again, right click on that chart. That's how you're going to access it. And then everything that you need, all of the components of the Harmonic uh, Trader platform here are automatically installed and you access them through editing the chart. So we can go into the Harmonic patterns. And again, this will show us all of the patterns that we can search. One of the things that I would recommend is uh, maybe removing the a simple ABCDs because there's going to be a lot of overlap if we want to just look for complex patterns. But we have new functionality in here, unavailable anywhere else, and just remarkable automation. So one of the things I do recommend is just coming in and adding some of uh, a little of your own uh, cosmetic changes, if you will. And we can do stuff like change even the label line simply by adding your desired dotted line or solid line. Uh, changes you, uh, all the different colors here. Uh, I can go from, say, a dot to a solid, and that might show the pattern a little bit more clearly in that, qu that case. Uh, the other other thing that I like is, look, we can adjust the stop and the other measured labels. So if I don't like to see that dot, maybe a solid line will show me each of these labels a little bit better, which it does. And then even uh, let's increase some of the pattern colors, if you will. Uh, a lot of these are e-signal defaults. And depending on what how you want to look for that, you know, that might bring out the pattern better. Uh, again, this does require some knowledge, but let's just walk through. We just looked at this. Uh, I pulled this Australian dollar on a 30 minute. Um, wasn't not, not a well-chosen example. It's just kind of the first one that I chose. And working with this on the fly, let's look at this. So we have a couple of things really clear that are vastly improved over the last version is that we have a more well-defined zone. Okay. And, and within that zone, we've broken it down, not only to be able to show uh, an optimized algorithm approach of the proper PRZ, 
but even defining what we call the terminal bar that is being the most important of the pattern completion points that does define the pattern completion point and serves as kind of the upper end of where we would look to optimize the trade execution and again denoted also look at the d point and a little bit of a star harmonic traders know that this is merely the starting point of the trade opportunity in harmonic patterns so that's why the terminal bar the terminal bar and its uh, denotation here the demarcation of this upper harmonic resistance is a critical critical level now let's look at this as it's happening this is something that's again I'm just looking at on the fly but I think it's representative of a lot of harmonic patterns and how this harmonic pattern collection has improved dramatically where we look at the terminal bar and we understand that that zone represents a reactive opportunity and that's how we look at most harmonic patterns we expect the reaction especially on the first test of the pattern so in this case we have our ideal completion zone and in fact the terminal bar that gives us that optimal area we want to be looking to enter at that retest in this little consolidation at that terminal bar level that terminal bar level that triggers up about 7834 7835 call it and the other improved optimization is we bring in the stop loss limits now so we have an optimized stop loss limit where you set it just above that stop loss that's at 78.55.6 maybe call it 78.56 put the stop just above there and our first target is at 7804 7805 these are measured levels these are defined in the books and uh, a part of the entire methodology that I've presented over the decades of how to identify harmonic patterns and know what are the profit possibilities in this case okay and I think this is a good one because this really shows the reaction and with properly measured structures which is what we've done with this program this this at least gives the trader phenomenal zones where you can capitalize on this reaction now this is a good one because our minimum reaction that our target was 7804 7805 we're looking to enter at the terminal bar up here around 7835 so again a trade where you're looking for about 30 pips um, didn't reach that entire level didn't get down to that first target but clearly gave us okay a very clear area of the possibility of a nice short we did get a reaction and we even got some reaction this little arrow here is the harmonic strength index confirmation and I'll talk about that more in subsequent webinars but the importance of the upgrades and everything we've done with this program is to show traders that to put them in these areas where we can capture reactions if these become larger reversals we've got ways to to figure that out as well but we are capturing these moves with a greater degree of consistency than ever before with the improved algorithms now I think a lot of people are aware of harmonic patterns and there's a lot of harmonic software out there harmonic scanners and I think it's time that we put the scanning concept to rest because if you're just scanning for patterns then you're just scanning for random drawings random measurements what we need to do is break it down now and what we have done is define the proper harmonic zones with the ideal confirmation and a very clear understanding of what our profit objectives are and risk objectives are to bring a professional reality to harmonic trading that is unavailable anywhere else 
So I invite you, please check out Harmonic Pattern Collection. This is for eSignal. And you can get more information at Harmonic Pattern Collection. Or go to SeniorAnalyst.com. That's the official partner here of the development of the entire eSignal platform. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. I'm Scott Carney. Send me a note at Harmonic Trader at HarmonicTrader.com. Thanks, everybody. Hope to hear from you soon.